Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm here with a new recruitment notification from Ministry of Defense for the Gazetted Officer Post. So this is a very one, uh, very good, wonderful opportunity for all the students who are waiting. So no experience is required and um, this is one of the better chance for you all to join uh, the Ministry of Defense. Okay. So there are different uh, posts that has been released. So let us discuss one by one with respect to them. So before proceeding, if you like the video, please like it and share it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Okay, the first post is General Duty GD, Pilot or Navigator. So age uh, born between uh, 1998 to 2002, gender male and educational qualifications are should have a degree of recognized university with minimum 60% aggregate marks. So if you have any degree for 60% aggregate marks, then you are eligible. And the second thing is Mathematics and Physics as a subject up to intermediate class. So in the PUC, if you have studied science, that is uh, science uh, stream, then you are uh, surely eligible for this job. Okay. The candidates who have completed a graduation after diploma are also eligible provided that they should uh, possess an aggregate 55% marks in diploma with physics and mathematics in the curriculum. So the uh, students who have completed engineering after diploma, uh, but uh, they have they should have studied physics and mathematics in diploma. That's the only condition. So no experience is required here. And for the second one, com commercial pilot license. So you should have passed 12 standard or equivalent with physics and mathematics as a subject and should have scored minimum of 55% marks in each of the subject. That is physics and mathematics. The candidate who have completed diploma are also eligible. Should possess current commercial pilot license. So this requires a separate certificate. So let us leave this. So for A and B, both male and female are eligible. And for the next one, that is technical mechanical, should have an engineering degree or recognized university uh, or in uh, in uh, uh, different branches like mechanical, marine, automotive, mechatronics, industrial and production, metallurgy or anything uh, and should have a minimum marks of 60%. Okay, there are other things also you can see. But you need to have mathematics and physics. So maths and physics is compulsory in your 12th standard. And for electrical and electronics, you need to have a engineering from electrical and electronics or IT, that is instrumentation technology and power up power electronics, etc. And the same thing applies here also. And for law entry, you need to have a law degree from 60, uh, uh, within the minimum 60% aggregate marks. So uh, no experience is required here. Okay. So from let now let us see from where this notification has been released. So it has been released from Indian Coast Guard Ministry of Defense. As an assistant commandant, general duty, general duty pilot, general duty women, technical and law. Okay, application I invited and this is C. This is for a group A gazetted officer. Okay, so for this the application has been started. So you have now, now seen the eligibility criteria also. Now let us see the other details for this. So vacancy, they haven't provided the, the exact vacancy. So it will be mentioned later. Okay, during the training time. And one more thing, candidates in the final year and awaiting for the results are allowed to apply. So final year students are allowed to apply. But uh, while during the interview time, you need to have your all your results and marks card. That's the only condition here. So the selection process is first stage is screening test uh, where you'll be having a test. Uh, like for example, uh, the th common things, English, reasoning, and numerical ability, general science and mathematical aptitude and general knowledge, the normal QRE section with English. But uh, the question paper level will be easy since I have seen this uh, uh, question paper, it will be a bit easy. The thing is, uh, they will have more application questions on science and mathematical aptitude. So this is for uh, the normal general and uh, the technical uh, things are also present. For the, for them, you need to have a technical knowledge in uh, engineering. That's it. That's the only difference here. So in the second stage, you will be having the uh, selection board. So that is uh, the selection board where you have to go there for five days of interview takes place. So these are common in all the armed forces uh, interview where uh, you need to stay there for five, five days and you have to perform certain tasks which has been provided. So after uh, passing that, uh, then uh, you will be selected. That is uh, the document verification and the medical test will be done. That's the only thing here. Okay. So the examination fee is very less. It is just 250 rupees. So 250 rupees is payable, right? So that's not a problem here. So the examination fees has been kept uh, very less and uh, candidates for SCST category have no fees. So that's uh, one of the important things that has to be noted here. So the travel expenses will also be provided. Don't worry about that. So SCST candidate who are not employed by the central state government will be reimbursed ordinary second class fare by train, government bus, streamer charges, etc. Okay. Examination city. The candidate is to give five preferences for examination in the city. Okay. Or to fill the first choice within 30 kilometers. And I'll show the different examination cities. Okay. So the examination dates has also been provided. So the examination dates where the prelims that is the first stage will be on March 22nd. So still you have lots of time uh, to prepare for this if you are interested. And again, the second stage, third stage, everything has been provided. And don't worry by looking at the norm, more number of stages. These are the part of the stages itself. So this is the preliminary test. 
uh, and this is the uh, SSB that is selection board and then the normal thing they have also given the medical test as one of the tests so don't worry about that so you can see the salary so for the assistant commandant initially when you enter the salary will be 56,100 which is a very huge amount okay and as the level promotion increases then the salary will almost read, uh, reach up to 12, 12, 12 lakh 25,000 but initially this is just the basic thing so I'll show you the total gross emoluments how much you will get so these are the other benefits that is in, uh, will be provided that is medical coverage coverage a furnished government accommodation for self and family of nominal license fee uh, so that is uh, only a nominal uh, amount will be taken by you uh, but they will give you furnished government accommodation for both you and your family and uh, the number of leaves insurance coverage up to 1 crore and premium up to 10,000 10, pension schemes canteen facility rent by ECHS medical facilities everything so this is the complete notification guys so I guess this was quite interesting so almost uh, the, the hidden and salary uh, without any deduction will be around uh, 98, 95 to 98,000 to you including all the emoluments so this is a very good opportunity so if you are interested you can surely apply for this job okay so any degree student can apply for this job okay that's all for today guys thank you